everybody, it is Mike Les with a video with two big bud tractors pulling some pretty big moldboard plows in northwest Ohio. On Saturday, July 28th, my wife and I attended a plow day in Alverton, Ohio, and I did a complete YouTube video of the entire plow day, but I elected to do a video on just the big bud tractors and the big plows. I shot so much video that day it was hard to get it all in one video so I thought just a shorter one of the big buds would be good and I had a couple of my YouTube subscribers ask for that so here you go. First off we are right here walking around a DMI 21 bottom moldboard plow. The founder of DMI, Bill Dietrich, was here at the plow day so he has not seen this plow for 40 years. This plow was built in 1978 and made its debut at the Farm Progress Show, which was held in Taylorville, Illinois that year. At the show, it was pulled in the field demos with a Steiger Tiger tractor. That would have been around 600 horsepower back then. The plow was then sold to a farmer near Fargo, North Dakota, who I understand owned it for many years, and it might have went to another owner or two there before the farmer here in Ohio had purchased it. The same farmer also owns this 18 bottom Wilrich plow, which I do not have a lot of history on it, other than it was built in 1978. Although this farmer does not do a lot of moldboard plowing on his farm nowadays, he does have these in his collection, and he also has this Big Bud 52550 tractor. There was a time throughout the United States and Canada when just about every farmer pulled a moldboard plow. Although it has become a thing of the past, it is still popular in some areas. And especially in the summertime, it is not too hard to find a local plow day with mostly antique tractors. Maybe nothing quite this large. That's what's made this plow day quite the deal. The Big Bud 65050 pictured here pulling the moldboard plow belongs to a farmer in Michigan just across the line from Ohio. So he was not too far away to drive this here. Since it was questioned on the video I did of the plow day about all the golf carts and side-by-sides, pickup trucks and so forth out in the field, this was just a fun event put on by the local fire department and some local farmers. So this was a get-together, a local gathering for a lot of people to come out and just watch this equipment run in the field. So this was not actually these guys doing their farming here today necessarily as much as they get together just for everyone to come out, watch this big machinery going at it. And for the rest of you that could not make it, you can just watch it right here on YouTube. The Plow Day here in Alverton, Ohio has been an annual event put on the last several years and it is growing all the time so you can check next summer if you would like to make it and live close by should be able to find something on the internet when they're going to have it next year. The Alverton, Ohio Fire Department cooked chicken dinners here. Last year they cooked 500 dinners and ran out. This year they was going for 650. I'm not sure if they run out or not, but they were pretty good. Big Bud tractors were built in Haver, Montana, and I've been to that location a few times in my life as uh, big equipment is the home of Big Bud and they are now a versatile dealer. I've been out there several times for work and uh, it's quite the place. Still get to see a lot of Big Bud tractors out in that area. Not so common in Ohio, but back in the day there was a few Big Bud dealers right here in the Buckeye State. The Big Bud tractor in the front, which is the 65050, the bigger of the two, is powered with a Detroit diesel 12 cylinder engine at 1104 cubic inches or 18.1 liters. It is rated at 650 engine horsepower, weighs in at 60,000 pounds, and has a fuel tank capacity of 700 gallons of fuel. This model of Big Bud also had a twin disc power shift transmission with nine forward and two reverse gears. Depending who I talk to, there was very few of these 650-50s ever built. Uh, one source tells me five, I've heard six, and I've heard up to eight. Uh, 
This model here had yellow striping on it, and I was told this model was built for Australia, but never made it to Australia and spent most of its life in Colorado until the local farmer here purchased it. And I should also mention the little white uh, tractor running beside there, which I believe was a Steiner painted up uh, like Big Bud colors. It was named Lil Bud and was a 50 slash 20. The Big Bud 525-50 was built between 1979 to 1982. It was powered with a Cummins KTA 1150C motor, which was 1150 cubic inches or 18.8 liters. It was putting out roughly 525 engine horsepower. It also had a twin disc transmission in it, the model TD92-2610, with 9 forward gears and 2 reverse gears. This tractor had a 550 gallon fuel tank capacity and the tractor here had 30.532 triples on it and these tractors weighed anywhere depending how they were weighted between 45,000 to 52,000 pounds. There was also a 525-20 tractor model and that had a synchronized transmission in it over the power shift.
And that is going to wrap up this big plowing video here. And hopefully we can make it back here next year. Thanks everybody for watching.